culture is about transparency. What I found to be helpful is taking the profit loss for a department. This is behavioral science based. Have the leader of each department chart their profit loss, or their, at least the revenue and expenses. And every single department on Monday between the hours of 12 and three, they have to post it and it's self-monitoring and it's report out and then there's goal setting. Now listen, it's meant in a positive way, the transparency. I want them to have the numbers because then there's ownership. The only way you scale a company is not through the centralization of everything. It's through decentralizing stuff. And there's small pods and groups where everyone controls their own culture. Everyone has a slightly different culture, but they're still in line with your four values. So transparency, diversity is important. But this next one, this is an important one, promises. Again, <laughs> this isn't rocket science, but I wanna drive this home because I've made so many mistakes. But if you try to think of it in a way that's like tangible, because again, I'm not good with the ambiguous stuff, but tangibly, if you think about every relationship, whether it's personal with family or whether it's with employees, relationship and trust is really what drives the engine of innovation and creativity and, and discretionary effort. So if you trust the person you're working with, I like to think of it as like, every time you make a promise and the recipient realizes that you followed through with the promise, they make a promise and, and deliver on it. In reciprocation, there's a promise and deliver it. Every time you make a promise, I like to think of it like being a thread. So if, if there were a way to kind of think about trust and, and building a culture. Again, this is all about culture. It's gonna be about the fact that it's very hard to break a strong rope. You have equity in the bank with that person because you delivered everything you promised. One other suggestion I would just make, I like to try to leave value where you're leaving with hard suggestions. And one of them is that I would suggest at least once every couple of months, the people that you meet with as a leader, ask them this one question. Is there anything that I may have promised that I somehow didn't deliver to you? Ask them that question because you'd be amazed the smallest little oversight that was, was unintentional, they see it as you breaking a promise and then they're always kind of not sure how they want to answer that and they say, well, there was this one thing, it might have been a gray area, but you're like, ah, damn, you're right. That would have looked like a broken promise and that person's going to leave. There's the worst thing you can do is make promises to people and not deliver them. That's trust, that's the rope. <laughs>